In previous versions of Windows, managing your files usually meant creating subfolders, moving a lot of documents around, trying to keep things organized by grouping them all together into one folder. Sometimes that could be tricky. You know, a program might have saved something where you don't know, and it's like, oh, where did that go? Or maybe you are trying to move things around, and you missed a file, or you missed a folder, and you're like, oh, man, what folder did I put where? Well, with the new Windows libraries, you don't have to do that anymore. Windows libraries will go ahead and point you to a whole group of folders so you never have to move them again. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to open up the My Documents folder here, and you'll see there's not one single file in it. But I'm going to open up the libraries. I'm going to go down here to my taskbar and choose the Windows Explorer icon. It opens up to the libraries, and I'm going to click on Documents. And when I open it, well, look at that. There's a whole bunch of documents in there, aren't there? We just had my Documents folder open, and there wasn't anything in here. That's because this, these libraries, are a way of organizing groups of folders. And if you look, you'll see that this document library includes three locations. I have the My Documents folder. I have the public documents, which is the same as shared documents in older versions. And then I have another folder called Stockholder Report, and all of my documents are there. Let's take a look. When I click there on the three locations, you'll see that all of these have been added. And if I go ahead and just open one of these, well, like, I can't open it from here, but I don't need to. That's the point. Everything is available to me right there. Now, up here, I can choose the way that these files are arranged in here. And by default, right now, they're arranged by folders. So it's showing me what's in each individual folder. Now, I don't care about that. I just want to have all of the files that I'm looking for available to me in the same place. So instead, I'm going to change Arrange By to, I can change it to Author. But since they're all me, they'll all be in sort of one bunch. The Date Modified. Uh, that's good if you're looking for something from a particular date. But I'll tell you the one that I like. Well, let's see. Here, Name. That'll just lift, list them alphabetically. But the one I really like is Type. Because if I say, oh, you know, I know it's lo I'm looking for a Word file, I can immediately separate out everything else. And when I click on that, it'll just show me those Word files. Now, what if we want to go ahead and add a folder? Well, we're going to go back here. We're going to go to Includes Three Folders, and you'll see that we can add one. And at this point, all I need to do is go ahead down here and include that folder. See, now I've got four folders. And it was a completely different drive. Choose OK. And I will go back to my libraries, open up my documents, and look at that. Now, I have all of the documents from four different folders in the same place. So I don't have to move things around. Now, let's go back here again and see here, default save location. I can go ahead and set any of these as the default, whichever one I want, so that when I'm saving things from Word or Excel or other programs that typically default to the My Documents folder, they're going to go wherever I want. Now, what if I wanted to make this one the default folder, or this one? It's simple. I just select it, right-click, and you'll see Save as Default Save Location, just like that. You'll also notice that I can change the way they're listed here. Maybe I want this one to be first. And actually, I want to keep this like that. And if I wanted to remove a folder, say this one, I simply have to do that. And like I said, the libraries work with music, pictures, videos. And that's the new cool libraries in Windows 7. Thanks. I'll see you next time.
Thanks for watching. For more information regarding our training videos, please visit www.trainsignal.com.